I don't want to waste any of your precious time. So instead, I will start by explaining who this video is for. If you want to run LLMs or large language models locally in your machine using Olama and Docker, then this video is for you. If you want to run LLMs inside the Google Colab and prototype and test your code, then the part two of this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Code Carbon. Without further delay, let's get straight into the video. In the part one, we'll be using Olama and Docker. So what is a Docker? Docker is nothing but an OS level utilization. Docker is an open source platform that enables you to run, deploy, manage and update containers. And next, we have Olama. So if you don't know what Olama is, Olama is nothing but a platform which will make development using large language models easy. Olama is nothing but Docker for LLMs. Now let's get back to the tutorial, the main tutorial. I hope you have Docker in your machine. Let's go to the next step. Next step is to download Olama image from Docker Hub. So for that, just go to the Google websites and search for Docker Olama. Click on the first link. After going to the Docker Hub, you can see the image Olama slash Olama. Just scroll down and you can see the CPU only option and you can see a very long command. We don't actually need this long command to begin. Instead, we will type, uh, we will reduce this command and we will type a small command. So all you have to do is to open a new shell and just type the docker pull and the model name. So the model name is olama slash olama colon latest. The command we type is docker pull olama so in a bare metal sense it will pull the model from the docker hub into your docker machine or the docker host so let's wait till the download is finished after a few minutes my download is finished now let's try to open the docker desktop application and let's see whether we have our image in the docker application this is the docker ui and here in the image section on the top left after clicking on the image section i can see the image that we just downloaded from the docker Hub. and its name is olama olama now we have the image now we need to run the image as a container you can imagine the container as a virtual machine or just like a running pc so when we run the image the image will be the you could say the os so when we run the operating system in a machine it, we can see it as a live machine so the next step is to run our image as a container for that we have a different command let's go back to the terminal and let's type our command to run the image as a container the command i am using is the bare minimum uh, command required for this project when you search or after using a docker a while you can extend this command to your requirement so the command is docker run minus d I will explain each and each and every flex after running the container. We got the minus p one one three one one four three four colon one one four three four name Olama test. Olama slash Olama. The first Docker run, which is easier to understand. So we are running the one running the image. The minus D stands for detach. That means the container will run in the background. So we can use the terminal for running the next command or for other purpose. And next the minus P. Minus P flag is an important flag. The minus P stands for the port. So the host machine is here and the docker machine is here so to connect we need to connect through the port so this has a lot, lot of ports and this has a lot of ports so this need to be connected using one port and it uh, so for that we need to use the minus p flag 
and here usually the olama runs in the port 11434 so we are mapping of 11434 of the host machine into the port number of 11434 of the docker and next the minus minus name we are giving the name as olama test and finally we have to specify the image and the image name is the olama slash olama if you have any doubt in the name of the name of the image you can go back to the docker ui and you can see so the here the name is olama slash olama we are passing the name in our command let's try running it first so the command is run now on the docker desktop on the top left go to the containers and you can see the name of our running container olama test this is the name that, that we specify in our running command and just click on and the status is running just click on the running status now and you can see it's running at this point we have installed the docker in our machine then we install the olama image from the docker hub and we are we also run the image as a container so the next step is to run the model inside olama go back to the containers in the docker desktop click on the running again and on the top right you can see a lot of options the, this one is to delete restart stop and this is the cli we need to go to the command line interface inside the inside the running container click on the cli this will open up a terminal and this terminal is in fact the terminal of our container so our container is olama let's type the olama list olama list when we type the olama list it will list out the models that are existing that are already existing inside the olama right now we don't have any models that why it is listed as empty now we need to so we will pull one of the models one of the lightweight models for that the command is olama pull tiny llama tiny llama is one of the lightweight models available on the market which is only 637 mp let's run it so we just pulled the tiny llama model from the olama model list you can download a lot of models on google just navigate to olama models and you can see a large number of available models any models that are available in olama can be downloaded in you in your local machine so here if you search for tiny llama you can see that model so we just downloaded this model from the olama website the next we just try to run the model inside this terminal for that olama run tiny llama which which gives us a prompt saying that send a message Let's type who is Elon Musk. See, tiny llama is running, and whatever the whatever the input we give, it gives the out, output based on our input. So we just type in who is Elon Musk, and it gives us a pretty good output. So Elon Elon Musk is the founder and CEO of SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, etc. Which means the model is running in the terminal. But as developers, we don't need this one. We need to access this model through our Python code or different code. So for that, so this is the part where the most of the tutorials lacks. So th that's where I created this tutorial because I searched for a while to find a solution. If you want to exit from this terminal, just type in slash forward slash and buy. You can exit the terminal. Now, if you type the Olama list. tiny llama latest so we have one models we just pulled only one model if you have multiple models downloaded in your olama it will be listed in this list we only have one more step remaining that is to test or to access the model through the local api so we are in the final steps guys let's get to it what i have here is an example code to test the access to our models which is running in the docker through our python code which is in the machine I will share this file in the descriptions with you so you can test out your your code or your prompt anything i will only give the brief introduction about this code first we are importing the request library 
The request is a library which can be used to send HTTP request, get, post, update, delay, etc. We need that library because the our code is existing in our local machine and the model is running in the Docker container. The next we have to specify the URL. So the URL we are giving the HTTP local host 11434. So make sure that port 11434 should be the same as the map port of your command when you run the image. The next is the data. So the data contains the model name. If you have multiple models in your machine, uh, for example, if you have Llama 3, then you can you, have, you can specify the model Llama 3 here or the prompt. So the example prompt which I'm giving here is why is the sky blue? And we got the stream. This is the one of the important things because uh, when I tried it without the stream, the I didn't get any output. So make sure you have the stream as false options. The rest two you can change according to your requirements. This is the JSON data to send in the request. Then we got he headers. So headers, the the type is the application slash JSON. The next is the response. And in the response, we are we are calling the request library and calling the post function. We need to get an output from the model. So that means we have to send some prompt. That means that is a post request. So that's why we are calling the post request here. Post request, then we are passing the first variable is the URL and which is the localhost 11434 slash API generate. The URL here is the HTTP slash localhost 11434 slash API slash generate. We want to generate content. That's why we are going to uh, we are going to the api slash generate uh, there are other options such like as api slash chat as well as different i haven't really researched much into that we only need the generate for this project so that's why it's api slash generate and in the response we are giving the request dot post first variable as the url and the second json is equal to data the data contains which models that we need to use uh, which prompt and the other parameters last we are passing the headers if the response dot status code equal to 200 the 200 means success that means we we got some kind of response from the server print statement is just printing out the response from olama and in the where in the variable named value we are saving the response that we just got from the server and from that response we are printing out the response value that response contains our prompt, our output of our specific prompt. The else statement just print out if any kind of error happens while we are executing this code. Before running this model, also make sure you have the request library installed. If it's not, you can just type pip install, pip install request. This is a very small library. So let's execute this function. I am in the file location. Just open a terminal inside this folder. And let's execute our command. Python main.py. It did work. We actually got a pretty good response from the from our code. This code exists in our machine. We send this request to the model which is running inside a docker container and we got a response and we are printing that response here. let's read the response the sky blue color is attributed to the presence of different types of minerals in the earth's atmosphere that's not important but we got our code work to troubleshoot or to understand further just go back to the containers click on running and if you if you click on logs you can actually see what's happening behind the hood there is api chat so the API chat, this came when we type inside the terminal, uh, who is Elon Musk, see that? So that's why this is API chat. And we, what we call in the, in our Python pro, like Python code is the API slash generate. So this is the API generate, and this is also API generate. So when we executed this function, this function called the slash API generate of the Olama model running in the container. And we got the response. You can try one more here. What is large language models? Python main.py. We got an output, pretty good output. Large language models. LLMs are deep learning models that use pre-trained language representation from large data sets such as textbooks, books, and news articles to improve the performance of natural language processing tasks. 
they have gained tremendous attention and research. So we got the output. I hope this video helped you in some kind of way. And if you face any issues while doing this procedure, just comment below and I'll try to help you out. I hope you learned something valuable from this video. On part two, I will explain how you can do this in the Google Collab. So everyone has Google Collab available in the available, right? So I'll try to emulate what we did in Docker inside Google Collab. Stay tuned for the part two. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.